The Simmons knew early on their son couldn't hear. And then of course we were like sneaking up on him and banging things behind him and trying to see if he had reaction. We was having a family reunion at our house mm -hmm. and it was a lot of noise. And he slept through the whole He thing. slept through it. The diagnosis part was the hardest part because we didn't really, we hadn't had any experience with any deafness at all. No one in the family, no history, none of that. We got involved with Children's and they just kind of walked us through the whole process. We went and it was sort of like, here's this baby. We don't know what's wrong with them, but there's something wrong, we feel like. And, you know, they set us up on a schedule. Uh, for speech therapy and, and then, you know, getting fitted with hearing aids. And it became apparent hearing aids weren't enough, and Justin was eligible for cochlear implants at two years old. We did it, I think it was in the summer, and by Christmas, he was he had words. We call his name and he's turning, and it was right. like, oh, yay. Thanks to the support of his family and Nationwide Children's, Justin went on to thrive in school. He's now a college student who looks back on his time at Nationwide Children's. Mainly, I remember a lot of speech therapy mm -hmm. and just practicing my sh, h sounds and trying to pronounce words correctly. I remember I spent a lot of time with my audiologist in the sound booth, trying to hear the sounds. And um, when there's like a little sound, there's like a little monkey come out of the box if you get it right. I always enjoy that. Justin's younger sister, Jasmine, also has cochlear implants. She is one of my best friends and we talk about a lot about everything and she's pretty much the only person to understand my situation. So I got new glasses, you didn't know this? They kind of look like your old ones. They both are honor students in college, they're pursuing their dreams and you know they don't have limitations, you know they, they're great kids, they're good people, you know they're friendly, they're outgoing, whatever they want to go after, they go after, so we are just very proud parents. Jasmine is following in the footsteps of her older brother by becoming a resident assistant at the University of Akron. So how's the at her, your co-RAs and stuff? They're pretty understanding of my deafness and they're cool. This is the first time they've ever, I don't think they've ever any kid with disabilities. So she was able to get in there, interview, prove herself, you know, and get the job on her own. So, you know, that's a, an accomplishment. I think there's nothing greater than giving the gift of hearing to another person and um, it can drastically change their life and their social life and their professional life. I wouldn't be here today without a cochlear implant, I know that. If you're lucky enough to be here and involved with children's, you're in great hands. I want to say thank you for their hard work and having patience with me and my sister. I'm just happy that we got there and we're still improving.